Hey everyone, and welcome back to Learning at Home with Mrs. Jones. Today I have an exciting math task for you to do. You are going to be a data collector. You are going to have to go all the way around your house and you are going to collect some data. Now, the way this works is I actually have a sheet for you if your parents want to print it out. It is in the description below. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things that you are going to have to go around your house and find out how many there are of each one. As you go around, you're going to make tally marks every time you find one, and we're gonna have some questions for you to answer at the end. If you don't have access to a printer, that is a-okay. I am about to tell you what the seven things are right now that you have to go around and find in your house. First, you need to find how many doors are in your house. So go around, you're going to count up every single door and every time you find one, you're going to put a tally mark next to it. Then you're going to count up how many windows there are in your house. You're gonna count up how many chairs, how many outlets, how many rooms you have in your house, how many clocks there are, and how many mirrors you can find in your house. Now, when you are collecting data, this is not a race. It is important to remember that when you're collecting data, you need to do it really slowly and methodically. So you might wanna take your paper and a pencil and walk around, start in one room, and maybe you'll start with the first category, doors. You will look, and every time you find a door in your house, you will draw one tally mark. So in this room, I have one, two, three doors. So I'm starting here, one, two, three. Now, just a reminder, when you get to five, everybody remembers what you do, right? So if I was at four, I cross my fifth one right there. Then I can put them in groups of five. So go ahead and pause this video, go print out that page or write down the categories or draw a picture of each category and take your time and make sure you accurately tally mark all of the data you can find in your house. Press play when you come back and I'll tell you what we're gonna do with that data. All right guys, welcome back. So you should have now tallied up all of those things in your house. I hope you did it really slowly and you really made sure you counted every single one you could find. Now on that sheet of paper, there are some questions you are going to have to answer. If you don't have that sheet of paper, that's okay. I'm going to say the questions out loud to you now. So after you've made all your tally marks, your first step, step one, is to write down the actual number next to the tally marks. So you will have to count them up. So if I have my windows here, I have groups of five, five, 10, 11, 12. Next to that, I want you to write down the number 12. This way we can really see and compare what we have the most of. Doors, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight doors. Do that for all of your different items that you found around your house. Now, after you've done that, I want to know some of these questions. I wanna know what did you have the most of? Write it down here. I had the most chairs, so I would write down chairs. What did you have the least of? I actually had the least amount of clocks, and don't forget, I even counted the ones, I have one on my oven and on my microwave. I counted those up, but I have the least amount of clocks. Then you have a couple other questions, like what is the difference between the amount of doors you have and the amount of windows you have? And to find out that answer, let's see, I have eight doors and 12 windows. And to find the difference, that means I'm going to have to subtract. So I'm gonna take the bigger number, 12 minus eight, and I know the answer to that is four. 12 minus eight is four. That is the difference. So go ahead and answer the questions on your sheet or answer the questions I just said for you. Step one, write down the number after you've counted up all the tallies of each category. Then I wanna know what you have the most of, what you have the least of, and I wanna know the difference between the amount of windows and the amount of doors that you have in your house. As an extension, if you want to, you can go ahead and take all this data and make it into a bar graph. Great job, data collectors. If you liked this activity, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you can see all the other videos I am uploading this week. See you later. Bye.